Welcome to March, where the madness will ensue. We have a big game here in the Big East today between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Marquette Golden Eagles. And that's that's what we talk about. I mean, can this Marquette use their size against these three-point shooters for Creighton? We see two. And that's what Marquette coach Terry Mitchell told us before the game today. So we talked to her as Chelsea Butler just enters and puts it in. And she'll head to the line to shoot one. Maybe three the old-fashioned one. As I mentioned, big game for Creighton. If they win today, Blue flies up a three, and she puts it down. That's just not fair. The 6'3 senior from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. She does, but even you see, you know, Butler posting up rollers and trying to not let her get too deep in the paint. That's a part of it. Three-pointer is good for Ashley Santos. And Marquette. Down by one, now up by two. Nine to shoot. Is working. Katie Young, first time no, second time yes. What well, work there. Side. Under two minutes to play. Janning with the dribble drive, fakes, and she gets it to fall, and she'll head to the line, and she is pumped up. She needed that one. So they just put it out of their minds and just did work as Morse lines went up. And she is silky just inside the three-point. Full court pressure here by the Golden Eagles as Janning looks to pull from three at the end, and it goes off the backboard no good. So at the half, Marquette with a one-point lead over Creighton, 33 to 32. Is on a team run if they're not Steeler fans. Blue streaking down the middle of the lane, lays it up and in. And Marquette matching their lead, biggest lead of the game. They're up by six. Dad, get over it. Blue from the top of the key, she drains it. And Marquette now with their largest lead. Jim Flannery calling out a play. Janning, wide open look, and there it is. But just nine seconds to shoot. Plouffe will try a three. Lines it up and puts it home. Oh, baby, we're tied once again. The DePaul men play at the Allstate Center. Sarah Nelson, a long three, and Nelson buries it. That is their largest lead of the game. It was four as Plouffe dials up some more long distance. She hits a three. 15 to shoot for Pumroy. Slicing her way through the lane, lays it up with the left, and we're tied with just over a minute left to play. It's tough, tough finish, drawing contract, contact. And we've seen great sideline and out of bounds plays. Alicia Morse for three. And Marquette retakes the lead. They are up by one. 17 seconds left. Pumroy trying to get an opening for somebody. It's Morse. And Morse! Morse hits the three once again. And Marquette up by two. And it's Terry Mitchell taking a timeout. She's only a junior. She comes off the bench. She's third, though, on the team. And again, she's about three feet from behind the line. But, but both these teams have shown to have range. Janet. Gives it up, Sammy Jensen from way out of town, off the mark, and the Marquette Golden Eagles are going to hold on and beat the Creighton Blue Jays in an extremely exciting game here at the Al McGuire Center. Just a deflating loss for this Creighton Blue Jays team and a great win for Marquette.